This man really needs no introduction. He's one of the funniest people in America. He's blowing up on TikTok. Everybody put your hands together right now, right now for the funniest man in America, Mr. Nate Jackson. What up, y'all? What up, 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 what up? All right, uh, this is another crowd work special in which don't no jokes get told unless they made up tonight. These are stressful because I want to lean on shit I wrote last night. I try to just give you guys pure creation. If you don't know what's happening right now, we're making up every goddamn thing. <laughs> or it's shit that's been on my mind since I woke up today. Okay? I'm going to roast some people. Because you're sitting there. Uh, but I'm not crazy. I want you to know, if I look at you and you don't want to be roasted, look away. That's rule number one. You are in charge of your own destiny. If you want to get destroyed, lock eyes. I don't want to waste my time fucking with somebody that don't want to be talked to when the person behind you is damn near vibrating in their seat. I'd much rather talk to the people that are excited than the people that are just fucking up the show. All right, um, I'm glad you guys made it out, man. I appreciate it. This shit is, this is wildly diverse. Are there any black people here? No, like black people. <laughs> He's like, bro, I'm black. Ish, kinda. <laughs> if the clan ran in, they'd be like, well, uh, uh, based on your shirt as you were. <laughs> All right, so there's 19 black people. I'm standing, I see you. Okay, oh, all right, got your hair done like Sojourner Truth. You black for real. Because <laughs> I walk like I've got diamonds at the meetings of my thighs. Head ass. All right, uh, real quick, I want to say this. Um, you, I usually say the rules, if that first one with the look away, that's rule one. Rule two, uh, if I look at you and you don't look away and I start, uh, if you don't like how it's going, looking away is not going to save you. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. You missed your chance for immunity. Uh, rule three is don't be worried about what other people are going through down here. If somebody getting destroyed, let it happen. Okay? I don't care if it's your loved one, your brother, sister, if it's your mama. If I get a hold of her ass, you got to let it happen. It's the crowd word show. Don't be sensitive tonight. Thick skin, white women. Some thick skin. White women are always the first demographic to be like, hold on. That is preposterous. I demand to speak with the owner. <laughs> Surprise, bitch. I'm the owner, too. If you sensitive, take your ass home and watch Dawson's Creek. <laughs> Which, by the way, um, Dawson's Creek was a lot of people's favorite show back in the day. Uh, I was looking up some interesting facts about Dawson Creek this morning. I don't know why. <laughs> but in doing my research, I came across the mind-blowing fact that the first gay kiss ever recorded on television, like shown, broadcast television, was on Dawson's Creek. Did y'all know that? In, in the year 2000, 24 years ago, two white men kissed in the mouth. <laughs> also, that's the same year Angelina Jolie kissed her blood brother in the mouth on the red carpet. They French kissed. Now, now I didn't know that one. I saw that picture and was like, you bullshit. Now, I love my sister, but not like that. I ain't finna kiss my sister in the goddamn mouth. They was tonguing down. It was crazy. Y'all remember that? Were y'all old enough? You old enough to remember that. <laughs> you weren't paying attention to that kind of stuff 24 years ago, but you definitely old enough. 24 years ago, you was, your hair was brown. 
Blonde? Okay. Everybody keep asking me what I think about the Cat Williams podcast on Club Shay Shay. I ain't never been asked something more in my life that had nothing to do with me. <laughs> he didn't say my name. Nobody was talking about me. Why does everybody want to know what the hell I think about what Cat Williams said? I don't give a fuck what Cat Williams said. In my opinion, if you watch that and that opened up your chakras, if you watched all two hours of that and you were like, I never knew these things, where the fuck you been? There was a whole Me Too movement. Harvey Weinstein is under the jail right now for trying to fuck everybody. He tried to fuck everybody. Me too. <laughs> he ain't tried to fuck me, but it was called Me Too because that's how many people he tried to fuck. Do you know how many people you got to fuck for everybody to be like, hey man, Me Too. <laughs> you got to pretty much just have your dick out, man. Cat was talking about the movie Friday and Friday after next. That shit came out. Today is the 24 year anniversary of that film. Exactly today, January 11th. And people watched that podcast and thought, this is wonderful new information. <laughs> Ricky Smiley wanted to be in my role. Nigga, everybody wanted to be in your role. He was Money Mike. If you've ever been in a movie, everybody on a movie set want to be in the better spot. If you're talking, you want to say more. If you're directing, you want to be the star. If you're the star, you want your next movie. When we doing the next one? The extras just want to say something. They're like, please stop letting me walk back and forth. Please let me say something. My mama watching this shit, no. Go back over there and walk back across in the background. That's your job. Fuck. That movie came out the same year that the two gay dudes kissed on Dawson's Creek. <laughs> when I told you guys that fact, you all, you, all your faces looked like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> so why would we give a fuck about all the other old shit he was talking about? 24 years ago, how old were you 24 years ago? You were one years old. <laughs> Which means you weren't even born yet, because she looked older than you. That, right, that's what I just said with your dumb ass. I just said, <laughs> you look older than him. <laughs> I'm older than him. I, that's what I just finished saying. I don't know if I'm going too fast. Maybe I should give you some of this and so you catch up to me. People watched some shit last week and they were mind blown about some shit from when he was not born. He was in his dad's scrotum <laughs> as if the rest of comedy hasn't still been happening since then. I don't give a fuck about it. Ricky Smiley being somebody grandmama in a film? I'm going on tour, bitch. Buy some tickets for 2024. He said people in Hollywood butt fucking. <laughs> Newsflash, people in Lakewood butt fucking. We don't give a <laughs> They butt fucking everywhere. <laughs> If you don't want to be butt fucked, hold your booty hole. <laughs> they butt fucking everybody in Hollywood. <laughs> if you got an asshole, don't go to Hollywood. Hide your kids, hide your wives, they butt fucking everybody out here. <laughs> what the fuck? They butt fucking everybody. Me too. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody but fucking me, man. <laughs> Just saying, you are in control of your asshole. I don't know. <laughs> Damn, I watched that whole thing and was like, he ain't said nothing. I don't know. Steve Harvey had on a, a fake hairdo. I was like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> His hairline is is crispier than mine right now, and my shit is spray painted on. If I sneeze in this bitch, my hairline finna be on the ground. You hear me? White people, this is not a real hairline. I paid 22 extra dollars <laughs> to have my shit be this crispy. You hear me? This is not my real hair. If we leave here and it's raining, I have to run to the car like a black auntie. Oh, these niggas tripping. 
Come on. Come on. <laughs> the fuck about Steve Harvey's hairline? Who did it? Where, where, <laughs> where's his business car? I need to sit down with him for a minute. <laughs> if I find out who did Steve Harvey here, I'm getting a flat top too. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Shit. He said he could run a sub four three forty. <laughs> I don't think y'all know how fast that is. He said he can run forty meters in one, two, three. He done. <laughs> I can run that fast too. <laughs> Fuck y'all. How come he said it? everybody believed it? I said y'all were like, shit. <laughs> fat people faster than you think. You ever, you ever race a fat person? I have. As long as our knees don't go out, he'd be like, God damn, he right with me. <laughs> fat people didn't, we weren't always fat. We used to all be in shape. Huh? Huh? <laughs> How old are we? 20? You run, you run 20 meter dashes? That's not even a dash. That's just. <laughs> That nigga said, pew. <laughs> 20 meters, my dick longer than that. <laughs> if I fold it in half. <laughs> you used to be in great shape, man. You was an athlete at some point? When I was three. When you were three? <laughs> Based on how big you are now, you're probably about 240. What do you do for a living now? Uh, I work in construction. You work in construction? I bet you do. Just, just you and two bulldozers pushing the shit around. <laughs> What's your big ass name? Pernell. Pernell? Why you got an old black grandpa name? <laughs> I've only met one Pernell in my life. Pernell Whitaker. Huh? Yeah, he a boxer, Pernell Whitaker. Yeah. And so who you with? Is this your family? Uh, friends and my sister and her. Which one's your sister? Oh, y'all separated? You're like, I'm not sitting next to your stupid ass. <laughs> Pernell. Back there pushing pee. And who is this right here? This Uso with gold teeth. That's your husband? Has he always had the gold teeth? He pull him out after the night. You gonna go home and lay him on the nightstand? <laughs> Where you from, man? I ain't never met no Samoan. From Seattle. You from Sh Seattle? You can't even talk with your shit in. <laughs> I'm from Seattle. You know, oh shit! Oh goddamn! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! <laughs> That's right, gang. I'm from Seattle. What's up, family? <laughs> What's happening, family? I'm from Seattle, right? <laughs> Take them motherfuckers out so you can talk to me, man. You in the front? <laughs> it's crowd work special. It's Nate Jackson on this. <laughs> you gotta talk through his teeth like a ventriloquist to keep them motherfuckers on. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm just out here with my girl. I don't want to open up my mouth. Fuck around, my teeth fall out. God damn. Uh, they tight in there, man. <laughs> they locked down? You eat pussy with a man? <laughs> he was like, hell yeah, I eat pussy with a man. You motherfuckers be brass. <laughs> you eat your pussy with them man. <laughs> His whole mouth be green. <laughs> He's like, god damn, he ate out the incredible hole. Looks like an orc. <laughs> What's your name, Oos? Rudy. Huh? Rudy. Rudy? Like the little football player? <laughs> nice to meet you, Rudy, man. That's what's up. Like the big football player? No, Rudy was a little white boy, man. I don't know if you've seen the movie. Oh, you big Rudy. My bad. <laughs> I said, no, I'm big Rudy, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I got hella homies. Dasher, Prancer, nigga. Y'all know Rudy is Rudolph. This nigga try to act cool. <laughs> My name Rudy. No, your name is Rudolph the Red Nosed Samoan Reindeer. <laughs> Playing all the reindeer hakas. Mufatasasi. <laughs> all right, so we got a Samoan group. We got an uh, Asian family. Hello. How you do? Yes. 
Are you looking away? Is that on purpose? Because uh, you the way you are. <laughs> I can't see your pupils. Like your eyes is too tight. Like, open them up, goddamn. What kind of Asian are you, man? He opened them too. He was like. <laughs> what if they popped and got stuck like that? <laughs> your family will stop fucking with you. Get out of here, round eye. <laughs> we don't like you, round eye. What's your name, boss? Lawrence. Lawrence? This is crazy. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Everybody I talk to got an old black man name. This is the first Asian I ever met named Lawrence on my mama. <laughs> is that your real name or that's the one you pick? I'm not saying it in a racist way. Asian people get to pick their name when they get here. So it's something we can pronounce because shim shaw, shim shay shaw is hard to say. Lawrence is your birth, it's on your birth certificate? Really? So your mama looked at a baby little Asian. And you were adorable too. You're like, oh, hello, 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 hello. I apologize. I'm sorry for making a, I'm sorry for making, I'm sorry, bro. Lawrence, with your black ass, I'm sorry that I made the baby Asian cry hi -ya. I am so sorry for that. I'm sorry, you deserve better from me today, okay? But your mama was holding adorable baby you, and she was like, we named him. <laughs> Lawrence. <laughs> Why, because of the Matrix, Lawrence Fishburne? Lawrence of Arabia? Yeah, it's a VCR film. It's a VCR film? How old are you that you called it a VCR film? Have you ever been in a blockbuster in your life? It was a VCR film. Not a film, a VCR film. Not only that, you're named after an Arabian man. I'm afraid to ask the rest of the table. Is this your family member here? Friends. Friends, okay. Uh, you guys know his name is crazy, correct? You just found out right now, like, oh, I didn't know Lawrence was a normal name for us. And what, what's your name, sweetheart, right here? Huh? Angela? Okay, that's, I don't know. That's a black auntie name too. I only know two Asian Angelas. That's Angela Yee and Angela Lee. What's your last name? Trong. Trong, that's Vietnamese, ain't it? Oh my. Are you Vietnamese? Him too? You darker than her, you be outside a lot. <laughs> what do you guys do for a living? I've never seen a Vietnamese person outside the casino. <laughs> what do you do? Real estate? Shut up. Commercial or residential? Both. Damn, you double dipping, ain't it? <laughs> Shit, what about you, uh, Angela? You work at a hospital? What you do there? You collect the papers? You nurse? What you doing? Registration. Registration. So collecting papers. It's a dumbass way to answer me. You could just say yes. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> Larry the Asian guy. <laughs> I have your cable. You want some more cable? I am Larry the cable guy. The Asian cable guy. We have all the channel. <laughs> Everything's bootleg. WWE starring the Pebble. <laughs> I'm watching for the rock. We don't have the rock. We have the Pebble. <laughs> I'm just trying to watch the movie Rudy. We don't have Rudy. We have Big Rudy. Rudolph. <laughs> have the gold teep in him out. The gold not real. He eat the pussy, mouth turn jade. <laughs> jade is a, a popular Asian stone that's uh, green. For those of you that aren't on the same page, green is the color your neck gonna turn if you rub his teeth on your neck. <laughs> and so then there's, uh, wait a minute, you're not Asian, you're something else in there. What do you see, huh? Huh? 
Why'd you whisper it? I'm white. I'm white. You know what kind of white? Have you done your shit? You ain't got no idea. Just white, just out here privileged. I don't give a fuck what kind. <laughs> I don't care what kind of white, I'm white. <laughs> All right, and so you're Lawrence's baby, you're his girlfriend, is this a couple? Yeah, how did y'all meet? In high school. He was a star of the football team, Lawrence to the 10, the five. <laughs> Do you play sports in high school, Lawrence? What you play? Track and basketball. You play basketball? Oh, shit. Okay, Jeremy. <laughs> you got young Jeremy Lynn in this bitch, huh? You had handles? Yeah, what they call you? You had a nickname? Jeremy Lin. They call, <laughs> like, they call me Jeremy Lin, bro. It's fucking racist. Did you embrace it? Like, when you hit a three-point, you were like, it's rice time, motherfucker, and run off. <laughs> you should have, man. What time is it? Rice time, bitch. Fuck you, black boy. I hate you. I score in your face. <laughs> Other team has scouted the entire other team headed into the game. The coach is like the star point guard of their team. You guys gotta make sure you guard him. His name is Lawrence. <laughs> I said, Lawrence is checking into the game. He walked up to the stand, hello. <laughs> like, no, Lawrence is checking in. I'm Lawrence. <laughs> no. What time is it? Rice time, motherfucker, put me in. <laughs> he hit hella three pointers. Wop, 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 wop. 27 point. <laughs> Half time, they pass out oranges so everybody can reboost their immune system. That nigga eats sushi. <laughs> he got mandarins. Every time he eat one, he speak mandarin. That's funny, you ever ate an orange with, with chopsticks? You have? You peeled the skin off and then plucked out the little segments with chopsticks? You don't wanna get your hands dirty. You don't wanna get your hands dirty? You the most Asian Asian I've ever met and all the Asians I've ever met. And I've been to Asia, nigga. You out Asian the Asians that I've met in Asia. Lawrence. And so what's your girlfriend's name? Let me kinda of talk to her for a minute. Huh? Keely? What? The Ain't that the shoes with the skates in the back? That's the shoes where you can walk and then you get on your heel and you move around, right? Keely. Keely. You do real estate as well? You work with uh, Brandon? Huh? Hmm? Nursing. So you work with her? She's a different department. I actually do hospital shit. <laughs> Fuck you. She collects papers and does staples and shit. I'm actually saving lives and wiping asses. <laughs> well, it's nice to meet you guys. It's nice to meet you, Big Rudolph. And what was your name? I don't think I asked you. Yeah, yeah it's Pernell Whitaker, thank you. <laughs> Pernell, can you do me a favor so I know that you're enjoying the show? Could you let your top button go <laughs> on your goddamn shirt? I don't know why you got your shit button all the way up to Jesus Christ's waistline. But if you could just relax your neck, sir. Pernell sitting up here like he's about to get audited. Oh. Oh. All the numbers are where they're supposed to be. <laughs> relax, Pernell, man. Undo that top button, man. Let your neck out, baby boy. How'd you get that shirt on? I want it to look like a V-neck, sorry. You, wanted to, you didn't want it to look like a V-neck. No, man, V-necks are in, man. Look at me, man. Get you a V-neck, baby. Everybody, you not black? <laughs> you don't gotta be black to wear a V-neck. Is that a thing? Y'all think black people wear V-neck? Hold up. Cause you ain't got no V-neck on. And I told you your ass wasn't black. <laughs> Do you call the V-neck or is it a nigga neck? I just wanna make sure before, before I commit to what I got on. <laughs> That's crazy. Black people wear V-necks apparently. Did you know that? Are you Asian too? You something else. I'm Mexican. He said, I'm Mexican, fool. <laughs> the fuck you thought? <laughs> this your queen here you with? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Outstanding. How long y'all been doing that? Uh, six months. Six months? 
Of what? Together, engaged, married, six months? Just together. Oh, just fucking around. It's more than that? He said, no, we ain't just fucking around. We about to have a king in yet in this motherfucker. <laughs> Sunovia. <laughs> She's cracking up, man. Look, she can't even... She's like, oh my God. <laughs> Oy vey. You Mexican too, ain't you? Okay, outstanding. And so how did y'all meet? What's a Mexican love story? <laughs> we met online. You met online? Yeah. Shut up. Uh, well, uh, 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 muy pesca? <laughs> no, that's plenty of fish. <laughs> you be like, that really is plenty of fish? I don't know how you do that. <laughs> what app was y'all on? She's from Yakima. She's from Yakima? Okay. Hey man, is everybody okay, man? Real shit. <laughs> I gotta do like an hour, and, and I need the answers to make sense for the shit I'm asking, for me to connect the shit and make the shit fun. What app did you meet on? She's from Yakima. It's not, it is not what the fuck I asked you, sir. I did not say Don De Va, nigga. I said, what app did you meet your girl on? And you said, she's from Yakima. Correct me, is there a She's from Yakima app? If, that, if, there's a she, if there's an app called She's from Yakima, I will shut up. But in the meantime, that's a, that, I mean, at least 10 minutes has gone by before I heard a stupider answer to that. I'm Big Rudy. How did you meet your queen, bro? Uh, I slid in her DMs. You slid in her DMs? On what app? <laughs> Shit. Instagram? All right. Shit. What was she doing that you slid in? How did, like, tell me to click through. Like, I seen her picture. How you see her picture? I was just going on the Explore. You were on the Explore page? Which, what was, did you have a hashtag in there? Like, hashtag Yakima Hoes? Or like, what was? Because <laughs> I'd be on the Explore page. I don't see no Mexicans. Maybe it's my algorithm. I'm just trying to figure out. You put a hashtag girlfriend to beat. Like, what did you search that she was in there dancing? Uh, it's like bailes or so like dances. You typed in dance. Oh, you typed in. Nigga, don't translate for me. <laughs> you said bailes, uh, which is dances. <laughs> so you typed in baila, and when you clicked it, she was on there getting loose. El Tucanazo, El Tucanazo, El Tucanazo, Diego San Asi. And you were like, oh shit. <laughs> Muy Pompey's tap tap. <laughs> what dance was you doing on there when he clicked the Yakima Girl Dance algorithm? Um, it's Banda y Norteña. Hmm? <laughs> it's like Banda? Banda. Uh -huh. Which is a band? Yeah. Like Mexican country. You yeah, yeah, banned, uh, you like, it's Mexican country. It's banned up. Uh. And you was on there dancing to the band? Was the band behind her or she just had the song playing? It was like, she was just dancing. She was just dancing. Inside, outside, daytime, nighttime? Outside. outside. She was outside in Yakima. <laughs> was there water behind her or just like family? Was she outside under like a patio deck? Was her whole family sitting around like, hey, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Tell me what you saw, man. Yeah. Yeah, to 17 different ver I'm not fucking with you, bro. I just asked a question with multiple options. Multiple choice. He said, yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Yellow, green, red, or blue? Yeah. You can understand me, right? Maybe I should talk to her. She's been a little more crisp with the answers. <laughs> so you were dancing outside to the band of music. It was a party. It was a party? Yeah. A quinceanera, for real? Uh, no, it was a wedding. It was a wedding? Yeah. Okay, a ochenera, for real? <laughs> <laughs> Mexicans be getting married early. <laughs> and you were dancing by yourself at the wedding? Uh, no, just with family. You were dancing with family? Were you dressed? You had on all white and all that? You was one of the bridesmaids? Were you thick? You were thick in your, your outfit? He was like, yeah, she was thick, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. She was thick like Frio La Leche, bro. She was thick as her mother. That's cold milk. That's thicker than a milkshake. Let's translate that, because you don't know. 
And so, what'd you say when you slid in her DMs? Like, how did you get this shit cracking? How you doing? Um, Hello? <laughs> you smoke weed? <laughs> what just happened to your brain? Like, when I asked you that, you looked at her and you were like, oh, shit. <laughs> this was six months ago. Uh, it should not be that hard to pull this up. I'm not asking for some shit from 12 years ago. This is six months ago. Lord have mercy, sir. What's your name? Diego. Huh? Diego. Diego, nice to meet you. What did you say when you slid into uh, Elizabeth's DMs? Is it Elizabeth? Jessica. Jessica. Uh -huh. That's your real name? They say it like that? They don't say Jessica. Or... Okay. So what'd you say when you slid into Jessica DMs, bro? Tú eres como un el, centro de mesa. Un centro de mesa y yo soy como la tía que te quiere llevar. Hold on. <laughs> that's, that's why I was like, oh. No, that was Spanish three. I only got the Spanish two. <laughs> I'm going to let you say it into the mic. What did you say? Tú eres como un centro de mesa y yo soy como la tía que te quiere llevar. Oh, so you trying to get some dick on the table? You want some dick on a table or you want some dick outside where you at right now? Is that what you said? I heard La Mesa, nigga. That's a table. I ain't that bad. Subano, nigga. I know how to pee if I'm down there. Say it one more time, but this time say it slow like you're talking to a black man that took Spanish too. Tú eres como un centro de mesa y yo soy como la tía que te quiere llevar. It's the yeti, 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 yeti for my. It's the yeti, yeti, yeti for, for me. I don't know what he said. Can you translate that, Jessica? What do you say, sweetheart? He was mentioning at quinceañeras, they have like these... Uh, Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> she said he was mentioning that at quinceañeras, they have... I asked you if it was a quinceañera, and you said no. No, fuck that. She said quinceañera. It's a tradition in um, our Mexican culture that mm -hmm. they have like these. Uh, it's a tradition in Mexican culture to have pieces. Centerpieces. To remember the day of. To remember the day of. Okay. So it's like a beautiful centerpiece. Okay. And so then he asked you. Yeah. And so it's funny because there's our Mexican aunts that just take them to just have them at their house. Right. But what did he say to you and your DMs? <laughs> hey man, this goddamn couple is retarded. I'm not. <laughs> You're not even supposed to say retarded no more. Them motherfuckers retarded. Okay? There's somebody in here right now with a special child like, God damn, get it out! They are trying your patience. God damn, big Rudolph. I don't know what in the hell to do. Thank you for that. I appreciate you. I don't know why you want me to have two of them. I'm gonna just throw all that together and just keep it going. Hopefully this is full of patience. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she said, it's funny because all of our aunties take them after the, we get it, but what did he say to you in your DM? So he said, you're the centerpiece in the table and I'm the aunt that takes you. Woo! All right, that's game. Let me get you that. That's some sick shit, bro. That's kind of fire, bro. Now that we know all the tradition, I'm like, ah. Oh. He said, you're the centerpiece of the table and I'm the aunt that takes you. Woo. And she was like, take me, fool. Take me, fool. <laughs> What'd you say back? You were like, for real? Let's go get some tacos, boo. <laughs> He's like, you are my taco. He's like, ah! <laughs> That was worth fucking with y'all. I wasn't sure where it was gonna go. But I'm glad we got something out of that. Uh, welcome to the internet, nigga, because you're going on there <laughs> in two languages. You all right, man? You just trying to hide a COVID cough and, and everybody else is laughing. Everybody else was laughing. You're like, <laughs> I heard you. 
Your whole table was like, ha, ha, ha. You were like, ah, ha, ha. I hope he doesn't notice. Surprise, I noticed. That's a couple? That's rock, rock, rock? Oh, no, no, no. But gay, 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 but not him. He said, no, gay, 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 but not him. That's a whole other level of gay. Gay, gay, gay? That's crazy. He was like, based on what you've been talking about, I'm about to move to Hollywood. <laughs> they about fucking everybody down there. <laughs> they gay, gay, gay. He said, me too. <laughs> I will accept that as an entry to the show. I appreciate that. Gay, gay, gay is crazy. For the white people that don't know, black people put emphasis on things by saying it two times. Like, is this shit funny? Nigga, it was funny, funny. I don't even know what requires three. It was funny, funny, funny. That's hella funny. You gay, gay, gay. Woo! That's like a black belt, three degrees. <laughs> he bowed, hey, that's fucked up. He about to fuck the shit out you. <laughs> Your eyes gonna be open then, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know why that came out that way. I apologize. <laughs> hey, internet, I'm sorry. I did not mean to say Asian's eyes would open up if your butt fucked up. I apologize. That's fucking crazy. Jeremy Lin, you forgive me, bro? All right, we're good. I got, the, I got, uh, he, one Asian forgives me, he speaks on behalf of everybody else. So if one forgives me, then the other three trillion gotta be okay with it. All right, who else is in here? How y'all doing? Y'all look very uh, interesting. So it's a happy couple. You guys are cuddled up in the back there. You and Mexican Santa Claus. El ho ho ho. <laughs> Are you Mexican, sir? Oh, okay. Respect. And so the rest, everybody else is native too then? Outstanding. That's what's up. What, what kind of native are y'all? I'm Wenatchee in Spokane. You're from Wenatchee? You, you, that's your, your people. And where you live? Where? In, and that's Oregon, ain't it? Cooley Dam? How far is that from here? Five hours. You drove five hours for this Woo! show? <laughs> you want some dick, bro? <laughs> <laughs> he drove too far. <laughs> Cause he gay, gay, gay. He'll do it. He said, I got you. <laughs> I'll open up your coolie dam. <laughs> I'll throw a log in, it won't be shit flowing. Where are you going? We free already. <laughs> she walked through this bitch like Harriet Tubman, tiptoeing and shit. <laughs> Y'all's better come around, tell they better hurry. I'm sorry, that was a slavery joke. It's unnecessary for me to throw that in there, I apologize. That's fucked up for me to bring up slavery, you know what I mean? You feel me? <laughs> like, why talk about when you were three? Like, just, just move on, you know? <laughs> now, let me talk to this table, man. I, I really like you. I think I met you before. I'm fond of you. You're a sweet lady. You, you, you're a tough motherfucker, really. So who are these other three women? This your daughter right here? I have met her. She's a sweet lady, too. She tough, too. These some tough-ass white women, y'all. These type of people, you trying to rob them, and, and, and you end up short. <laughs> Gives you the money. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> you know where in the fuck I'm from? Give you the money. What size shoes are those? You're like, what those shoes? Now, you barefoot. And so who are the other two right here? I want to meet them too. That's your mama? Thank you for coming out, daughter and mama, having a good time. 
That's what's up. You don't look old enough to be her mama, though. What you been? You been eating your vitamins and shit? <laughs> Do you drink alcohol? What's the secret to looking this young? You don't know? Because if, honestly, if you put your hair up in that same little bun like she got, I would not know who was who. I'm for real. If, if it wasn't for that flash dance hairdo you got, <laughs> I wouldn't know how old you were. You gotta go get you a young hairdo because your face is young. Your hair is, your hair dating you. Okay? That hairdo came out when Kings of Comedy came out. Bernie Mac saw that hair. That hairdo was from 1999. Looking like Steely Dan. Hey, mama, what's your name? Huh? Maggie? Okay. And the baby? You gotta wait till they finish laughing at your mama name. Olivia? Those are beautiful names. What, why'd you get excited? Your name Olivia too? You nutted when she said her name. <laughs> Olivia. Oh! Oh! Oh my God. Me too! I'm older than him. <laughs> well, nice to meet both of the Olivia's. And let's talk to this Olivia. You've had your boyfriend's hand in a, in a death grip since I came out here. <laughs> Are you comfortable with that, having your hand grabbed all goddamn night? He's your husband, he has to be? Well, let me tell you something about, uh, <laughs> tell you something about what has to be. How long y'all been together? We've been together four years, but married for one. Married for one? That's why you hanging on like that. Yeah, yeah. Once you be together about three years, you be like, could you let my motherfucking hand go, bitch? I ain't going nowhere. We married. I was back from rescuing everybody that was in the bathroom, bro. That's young love. Only young people do that right there. Your hand ain't muggy? Huh? Was y'all holding on to each other before I got out here? You've been holding on to each other since the two openers was out here? You've been holding on to each other for 44 minutes. And your hand ain't got no, you got a different weather pattern inside your hands right now. It's condensation on your palms. Metacarpals, carpals and phalanges, that's for the nurse. I saw you look up. I saw that on some of my paperwork. You're not a real nurse. You're not a real nurse. She knows what I'm talking about. You're like, I saw that on the paper before I stapled them. So Olivia, how did you meet him? Facebook dating? Okay, how long? That, that was four years ago? That, it, has it been going on that long? I feel like Facebook dating is about two years old. How you? Let me mind my business. And so y'all fell in love in the DMs just like they did? What did you say when you slid into her DM? He said, oh, I got you. <laughs> I said, tuxedo mask. <laughs> What'd you say, bro? I said, help alleviate my boredom. Help alleviate my boredom. So you threw her name into the holler. And she was like, oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, sit on my Facebook. <laughs> sit on my Facebook dating. <laughs> Help alleviate my boredom. That's gang. That's gang. What if her name was Heather? You'd be like, "Help me head of the storm." <laughs> Meanwhile, there's 20 bitches on Facebook dating <laughs> with their name in a bar. <laughs> Keep it sandy with me. <laughs> Erica, erect me. <laughs> Where was y'all first date, man? At my house. At your house? You met a man on the internet and your first date was at home? My best friend's brother was my roommate, so he would protect me. Your best friend's brother was there to protect you? At what point were you like, it's cool? And then he got up from in between both of you on the couch and went to his room. He did what? 
He showed up wearing Chicago Bears gear. You're like, oh, he's a loser. <laughs> He'll be fine around here. I'll make him a winner. <laughs> That's why you're bored. Your team ain't winning a goddamn thing. You want to alleviate your boredom, be, be a Seahawks fan. <laughs> Pete Carroll retired. That shit is wonderful, man. He had a beautiful career, man. Got us a Super Bowl, fuck one up. <laughs> but let's be real, like we, if he didn't retire, we won't have to sit down as, as, as a community and discuss if we were willing to watch our head coach die on the sideline. <laughs> How old is Pete Carroll? How old? 73? 72? Somebody, somebody said, God damn. He been playing football since they didn't have helmets. 1970, he's 72. That's the only year the Bears were good. Seventy-two. He old the motherfucker, 72? I gotta do some calculations right quick. <laughs> this would explain why he was so excited when we got DK Metcalf. He was like, whoo! <laughs> Look at the size of that nigga. <laughs> 72. Pete Carroll was 48 at the time the shit that Cat Williams was talking about. with blonde hair. <laughs> he did get in trouble at USC, but that's all I wanted to say, the shit I just made up. <laughs> you remember that, huh? That's what I said, he wanted us one and fuck one up. You still mad, huh? <laughs> she crossed her arms, fuck Pete Carroll. <laughs> but she said, you got that right. She mad as a motherfucker. When white women say, you got that right, they mad as hell. <laughs> now, goddammit, Peter. They call him his full name, Peter. <laughs> What's your name, Joni? Mary. Mary. Like the virgin. I got a feeling that, that that's as close as we gonna get to the virgin. That's your daughter right there, somebody knocked. What'd you say? She took me to the Super Bowl against Denver. Who took you to the Super Bowl? She like, why the fuck are you talking about that, mom? <laughs> <laughs> She's making it relevant. I wasn't talking about all this. What'd you say, baby? Now say it the same way, like Tony the Tiger, like you just said it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great Super Bowl. I mean, golly, gosh darn it, it was incredible. Wow. I couldn't believe it. I mean, those Seahawks were all over those Broncos. It was amazing. It's like we were the centerpiece and people came to steal us. It's nice to meet you, Mary. What'd you say, baby? Her friend said, God damn. Usually people don't ask for it. That's kind of thirsty. Me, 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 face ass, huh? I've been trying to lock eyes with you for an hour. You haven't looked at me. What's up, Khloe Kardashian? What do you want to talk about? I would like to know why people can hear you drink. Because there's ideas in there. There's three cherries. One is delicious, one is yummy, and one is shut your ass up. Ask me what's in my goddamn cup. <laughs> It's a crowd work special. That don't mean ass to get work. It's your weird ass. <laughs> She's like, fuck me next. <laughs> I wish I had a fourth cherry. <laughs> How y'all doing? <laughs> you guys are beautiful, man. What's going on? Is this a couple? Y'all rock paper? No. I'm sorry, what? Shut the fuck, that ain't your goddamn. <laughs> the front people heard what she said and everybody said, what? I'm gonna repeat it and we gonna get to the bottom of this bullshit. You telling me this your mama? Like your mama. 
Oh, shit. I was about to knock your mama shit back. <laughs> your mama got some nice titties. <laughs> shit. She like your mom. Y'all look about the same age. What she just she told you to go to bed and shit like that? <laughs> How do you know her? Uh, she is my ex's best friend. Or my ex's mom's best friend. She's your ex's mom's best friend. This is convoluted. Uh, that means it's complicated and it doesn't make sense to me at first glance. So you and your ex broke up, but you kept his family? Where he at? You don't know? Why don't you ask your best friend? He's fine. I want everybody to point at who just made that sound. Why you laugh like Donkey on Shrek? She said, ooh. That girl's mad. Is that all I had to do to get your attention? Is to laugh like a handicapped person? Is she okay? Why the lights come on? So you can see her? You can hear her, she turned it into something. You sound like a baby dragon hatching. You can see an eggshell, get it. <laughs> I wanna hear you fuck. <laughs> I don't wanna see it, I just wanna hear it. I just wanna be next door like, what in the fuck is going on over there? Yelling at the wall, Dracoris! Dracoris! Winter is here! Ooh! You sound like that scene in Jurassic Park where they first get out there and a brontosaurus walks by and they all look up and they're like, Ooh! Like Jurassic Park by Steven Spielberg. You sound like a big ass Air Force One getting dragged up a sidewalk. <laughs> I don't know if you're getting enough oxygen right now, baby girl. We might need. You saved that. That was good timing. You held that till the end to transform the rest of the way into the man that you are. Hey, everybody. I just came to watch a comedy. What y'all about to get into? <laughs> I can't even imitate your laugh without hurting my own throat. Calm down. <laughs> the gate dude said, throat go. <laughs> you too. <laughs> what was that, a gay step? <laughs> Are you filming him? Please get them gay ass arms. Do the gay arms again? I ain't never seen arms that gay. <laughs> He did a flap and a snap on your ass. <laughs> this is the way your neck gave out for me. <laughs> What's your name, bro? Justin. Hello, Justin. Nice to meet you, uh, ma'am. <laughs> and so who you with that you ain't turned out yet? Why you pointing at him so close? <laughs> he like playing with his lips, like this is my friend Don. Don's like, what the fuck, Justin? <laughs> there was cum on that finger. <laughs> I tried to throw it off. <laughs> All right, so y'all not rock, rock, rock. You just had a gay dude in your basement? You were allowed to come out of there, right? He's like, no, most gays in the closet. I was in the basement. Once I got out, I was gay, gay, gay. <laughs> gay, gay, gay. 
<laughs> Man, that's amazing, Justin. What do you do for a living, my brother? You recruiter? For the <laughs> for <laughs> He's like, for Hollywood! I recruit booty hoes. <laughs> you recruit for, yeah, somebody said, he's in the Navy, I heard you. <laughs> Are you in the Navy for real? Cause that's gay, gay, gay. <laughs> I'm trapped in a boat. 5,000 leagues under the sea. <laughs> you know, we call these other men seamen. <laughs> who you recruiting for, man? I work for a VC back startup. For who? VC back startup. Yeah, yeah, you do tech, but what did you say? VC back startups. VC bats startup? Or like a venture capital funded startup. Yeah, but what's the bats part? <laughs> he was like, it's a gay mama super, y'all. <laughs> Could you imagine gay Batman? <laughs> You'd be like, nigga, what is a dead to the park? I don't got the dead to the park. All I got is It comes out in the night and outs other gay people. <laughs> Big Rudy. Asian Lawrence. <laughs> I'm probably about to edit that out straight up. <laughs> That's cancelable. <laughs> Gay Batman is cancelable. <laughs> All right, so you you in the tech startups and, and raising the money for the gay bats? <laughs> no, what's the real thing that you do though, like for real? You engineer the product designs. So are you just in the middle? <laughs> he was like, I mean. <laughs> okay, that's hella gay. I don't even know what you said. <laughs> that shit was so gay. It went over my head. It was like, I suck in space, baby. It flew over. <laughs> that's a gay flyover sound. <laughs> I don't know what he said, bro. He's like, I suck space, baby. So how long were you in his basement? <laughs> it puts the shoes on. You were in his basement for six years? Damn. Did you ever go down there? <laughs> like, why you shake your head like that, sir? You look like you were down there. He said, no, I never went down there. He likes Samoans? Oh, my God. Yeah, he pointed at his ring. Oh, fuck that, fool. Nah, move my fatasa, no, move my fatasa, no. I'm Nate Jackson, peace. <laughs>